Hello everybody, it's me, the Italian Gamer Joe, and welcome to a new stream. It's your favorite Italian streamer, drinking his favorite decaf Italian coffee. And tonight we are playing some Planet Coaster, and I'm really excited because I don't think anyone's ever seen me play like a builder, like strategy type game before. Um, hey Jake, hello people coming in, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream tonight. We're going to do something, since we've been playing Life is Strange for a few days, I've been thinking to myself, what could I play that's more like lighthearted? What could I play that's more chill? What could I play that's more like relaxing, that's not as like intense? And I was thinking, why not Planet Coaster? Why not like a water park theme park game where it's just all about having fun and thrills and being creative and letting your imagination run wild? So that's kind of like, that's kind of like where I'm at right now. Like just, you know, just having some fun, just getting the opportunity to play something that's a little bit, um, you know, just something chill. Um, you know, just ha let's have, let's just have some fun. Let's relax. Let's just, you know, uh, do something pretty chill. Um, so in Planet Coaster, if you ever played like Roller Coaster Tycoon, this is basically what Planet Coaster is. It's a game where you are a, um, you are a owner of a theme park, like Six Flags or something. And there's a career mode where it com it's composed of, um, the career mode is composed of like scenarios that you have to go through where you're, I think you're in already made parks. There's a sandbox mode where it lets you pick like the different, um, like different uh, biomes, and then there's a challenge mode that uh, it gives you limited currency, um, very very similar to the sandbox mode, but there's more like it's like a harder version of sandbox. This is my first time playing this game. I am kind of going in blind with it, but I'm excited because there's this game is constantly updated. There's constantly stuff going on with it, and I'm excited. So let's do the career mode. Um, let's learn the ropes. Um, green Pastures. This charming park is the perfect proving ground for a budding theme park manager eager to learn their trade. There's plenty of work to be done here, but with a little expert guidance, be up and running in no time. And then there's another one called Coaster Testing Facility. A uh, safe space outside the city limits where air is clean and the safety regulations are relaxed. Here you can learn how to build a thrilling roller coaster that'll keep the guest spirits high and their lunches down. We're going to do Green Pastures and start the scenario because this is the tutorial of the game. It teaches you how to play. I am playing this game, by the way, for Xbox Series S. The game is available on Xbox Series S and X. It's available on, I think, I believe it's available on PlayStation um, and on PC. So you can get the game on PlayStation and all that good stuff. But again, I'm playing on Xbox. Theme park proprietor I see before me. I certainly hope so. Otherwise, you're in quite the wrong place, and none of what I'm about to say will make any sense to you. I am Oswald B. Thompson, theme park empresario. The graphics for this game are gorgeous. To help you take your first steps in this most exciting of professions. And because it's a first step, we're starting in a somewhat humble location. <laughs> <laughs> a charming little sea of thieves <laughs> which, as yet, has not fulfilled its undoubted potential it looks like a shrek like i feel like i'm in the world of like shrek or something <laughs> like a fairy tale world it seems like welcome to planet coaster there are the keys here's another key 
I can't talk. These are the key steps to creating spectacular coaster parks. Build rides and scenery to attract guests. Charge guests for using the rides, shops, and other facilities. Use the profits to expand and build even more rides. So, first Sweet. First, you should learn how to Ooh. navigate around the park. Bring me back Ooh. there. Rotating. Zooming. <laughs> Almost as if you were riding a roller coaster. Oh my god, how do you zoom? Invisible roller coaster. Uh, zoom is LT. If it lets me. Okay, and then... Okay, so zooming is right trigger the triggers. Rotations is that... Um... Okay, okay, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Um, move the camera. So the game wants me to, like, really move the camera. Okay. Okay. Well, this this place, this park is pretty cool. It reminds me of like a cute little Six Flags. I mean, look at the tree here, and like the little like this reminds me of, like a Renaissance fair. It reminds me of like something you would see. Like, look at this ship. I love the detail of the ship and everything. It's really cute. I like this. Um, rotate the camera. Okay, the game wants me to rotate the camera and do a full like, and then zoom the camera. Let's zoom on the planet coaster sign. We'll zoom even more at the little speck of look dust. <laughs> Yay! Now, objectives are a bit like bosses. Bosses. Tell you what you need to do, bosses. Earn more money than you and drive a sports car. <laughs> no, Ain't that the truth? Anyway, how about completing another objective? Uh, if I could butt in and make a suggestion, how about you make your next objective opening up literally the only ride in your park? Why is it even closed? <laughs> oh, oh no. This is Lucy Summers, one of the most enthusiastic and outspoken theme park fans in the world. Jeez. I didn't know our ride was closed. Meet Ra, how's it going? Not in a cult. Hi there. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and give a shout out to Mitra. Ah, yes. Opening rides. Go on, select the ride. Please give a warm, please give an absolute amazing shout out to the wonderful Mitra. Um, she plays a lot of like Dead by Daylight, but more recently she's been playing God of War in anticipation for the new God of War game that's coming out. Please give Mitra a follow. Select the ride, the Magic Castle. It's closed. Now we have to open the ride. So I think red means closed, orange means testing, green means open. <laughs> well done. I pressed a button. <laughs> I don't know. We don't have a park name yet. We don't really have a park name yet. What kind of? What does it mean? A flood? What does that mean? I love the voice acting. Possibly nausea. Gayland. Oh. For a ride. For a ride. <laughs> for a ride. <laughs> Eugene Newton. Oh my god, he looks like a male version of Haunted Carousel's uh, Namaste Girl. He looks like a male version of her. Niacin. <laughs> Niacin. New rides can be found in the Rides Browser. Don't forget, once built, a ride needs both an entrance and an exit. Once the entrance and exit have been connected to the rest of the park, your guests will be able to ride it. So, if you would start by clearing the highlighted area of any obstructions, please. And do not fret, those mm. items will automatically be sold, so we will get at least some of the purchase mm. price back. What does he mean by that? Oh... oh. Just a word about the radial menu. The, the radial, radial menu. menu Ingrid Cor Yeah, it's a male Ingrid Corey. Please note that the options available in the radial menu will change depending on the menu. Oh, clever. Yes. Cool. And we made some money. Now, yes. Chosen a suitably thrilling ride for you, so if you would care to select it. Okay, what's what's the ride? What's the ride? He want. We're building. Place it, in the designated area. it looks identical to the ride that we just built. Um. Let's put it like this, maybe. 
and then we'll place it like this. Ah, now it's very Is this the entrance? When you place the entrance gate, you make sure to leave enough space so you can build a ride queue. And then we have to build the exit. Um I'll put the exit near the entrance, I guess, because um, I was going to put it here, but would it? Yeah, you know, I'll put it there. That's fine. Next up, connecting your ride to the park. Connecting your so ride to the park. To the park. Guests need paths to reach everything they want to use, like rides and shops. They won't just walk across the grass. A queue is a special path type that allows guests to wait in line before entering the ride. Queues are built. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Now, that's um, is where guests will wait in line to go on the ride. Let's do concrete, and then we'll just... How do you make it go more further? Bring me further, damn it! Why isn't it going further? Length. Oh, that's how you do it. You increase the length. Ah. Ah. I get it now. We can make it a smaller one. I don't know what angle snap means. I also don't know what that means. Um, and then we'll do this. Cool. Good. And now you should build a path from the exit gate back to the rest of the park. For that, from the exit to gate back to the rest of the park. And if you do find any obstacles or obstructions in your way, you can build slopes or stairs into your path to get over them. Yes, yes. Do that for me, please. Do that for me, please. Uh, uh. Oh, you can build stairs. Oh. And oh. No, no, that's not how we cool. Apologies. That was really cool. I like how smart this game is. My dog, mother, I crave violence. <laughs> it's funny, Mira. Ooh, look at this ride. Yes. Oh, don't you just love teenagers? So much disposable income. Cynthia, I see you there. Please. A elixir machine. Clark, chief financial officer. Ooh. It's my job to make Ooh. sure these places turn a profit. Turn a profit. Speaking turn a profit. The park's rating has gone up. Ooh. You know what, that means. what does that mean? Kick. Charging the guests more money. <laughs> yes, I want to charge the guests more money. Yes. A necessary evil. A necessary evil, I suppose. Guests think the magic castle is cheap. Well, you know what? They don't have to come here. Did you see that notification? Even the guests think we're undercharging. Them. <laughs> Even the guests think we're undercharging them. <laughs> Rides are the main part of the park's income. They earn money through ticket sales, but cost money due to their upkeep. To improve a ride's profitability, its ticket price can be changed. Don't make ticket prices too high, though, as guests may become unhappy or unwilling to pay at all. That's right. Okay. Look at the notification. If the notification. The notification. Okay, well, where do we go then? Oh, park management. And then go to notifications. Oh, it's that family-friendly little ride of ours. Go the family-friendly ride of ours. That seems a wee bit steep. Oh, honestly, Oswald. The people visiting this park aren't just getting to ride rides. Hmm. They're getting to make precious, precious memories. memories. So if we put the ticket prices up, then we're making those memories even more precious. So we oh, raise it from eight fifty oh, to what? Like, oh, to eleven dollars? Okay. 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 I know we're in the happiness business. We just did it. But we also I think we have to wait for the dialogue to finish though. Oh my god, look at the line here. Holy shit! Look how long this line of people is. Oh my god. Holy shit. And where are the masks? This is COVID. Why aren't you wearing masks? Well, mother, get your kids' masks on right now. This is... I don't care. This is fucking COVID. You should be wearing masks, damn it. Look at this. They don't give a shit. Oh, my God. They're like, hi. 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 Look at this. Look at this. This ride actually looks adorable. 
<laughs> None of these people look like they're having fun, though. They're just like, eh. Eh. Whatever. We should have went to Six Flags instead of Gayland, like Meat Red just called it. <laughs> these people don't look like they're having fun. They look like they're just like, eh. Whatever. I smell like Family Guy. Eh. Gunkle Gamer, how's it going? I was lifting weights today, so enjoy your little flex. Enjoy the little flex redemption. Flex for your popular ride. I know, right? I'm the real traction. They, they just spin around me, and I'm the one flexing. They're like, ooh, look at Italian Gamer Joe, the owner of the park, as he flexes his muscles for us. They're like, ah! Yes! Tell you, Gamer Joe! Yes! Flex for us, please! Oh my god, flex for Joe! Inspect three guest thoughts. Great! Free entry! Magic Castle's a bargain right now. What about this guy? This mustachio. <laughs> See? That guest didn't seem too No drink shops in the park. What does that mean? Yes, but their happiness is our bread and butter. So it's bread and butter. Regularly check what the guests are thinking. Bread and butter. <laughs> I love it when park entry is free. I want to go to Magic Castle. Magic Castle has cheap tickets. The queue scenery. Is I still can't believe how like fucking long the line is for this ride. I mean, look at this ride. Look at this like baby ass ride, and look how long the line is. Look at this. Look at this. Look how insane this is! You know, I'm feeling nervous. Like, I, this is a game, but, like, look at this. COVID is a thing, and, like, look at how much... Look at the crowd for this line. The, the, the wait time for this ride must be two hours or something. Like, look at this. All these people are just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We got to go. We got to go to this crazy ride. It's so much fun. It's called Magic Castle. Look at this. Look at this. Look how look at the spinny thing. <gasps> oh my god, look at this. And like they're all just so excited and they're just walking up to it and they're like, This is beautiful. Look at the knights. Oh my god. We gotta do this. We gotta fucking do this. And then, <laughs> the ride's not even moving that fast either. <laughs> and look at the I mean, look at this. Look at how many people are here right now. They're like, oh, oh my god, look at this guy's face. This guy, he's just he's just like he's like, this is the best thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. He's like Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone here is just like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Even this kid is just like, yay, daddy, take me. <laughs> take me here. <laughs> it's so funny. Look at these people. <laughs> this guy looks like he's not ready. Like He's just like, he's like, what the fuck was I thinking? My wife told me to do this with the kids. I was not ready for this today. Oh man, where's the bathroom? I gotta get out of here. This is ridiculous. They said two hours for the fucking spinny ride. Help me. Please help me. <laughs> oh man. I like people watching in this game. Is that the kid from fucking Up? Did he grow up? Is that the Boy Scout kid from Up in the blue hat? He, 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 he looks like, I can't believe I'm next in line. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I can't believe it. I'm next in line. Oh my god, look at this girl. She like bumped in the camera. She's like, ah, <laughs> look at her. She's like, oh my god, yes, yes, please. <laughs> She's like, yes. <laughs> She's like, get me on the spinning ride. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so excited. She's like, get me in that line now. Get me in that fucking line right now. Get me here. Get me. She's like pushing past people. She's like, ah, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> she's like so excited. Let's see what she's really thinking. Well, I didn't see anything to worry about. There. No. Okay. Apparently, a lot of the guests want alcohol. Sit back and let the money roll in for a while. We've made a healthy profit. Until we've made a healthy profit. <laughs> oh my God! People watching in this game is actually a lot of fun. Some of the guys in this game are kind of cute with the beards and their. Ooh. <laughs> Look at the line moving. <laughs> Only three more hours. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, oh, oh. she's happy. <laughs> it's kind of funny looking at these guests and seeing and like imagining what they might be thinking. <laughs> oh, man. Gain money. 
So that is, this is Planet Coaster. It's people watching and watching the people. Look at this, look at this. Look at how many people are lined up right now. Look at this. The wait time must be three or four hours for this ride, just for this little spinny ass ride. Like, look at this. Can we do anything with it? We can change the color palette. Ooh, I want to change the color palette. We should make it like, we should make it, we should make it pink. And then instead of making it blue, we'll make it like a, like a watermelon color. Now it looks more like watermelon-y. And then we'll also make it, ooh no, I don't want to make it that much. Crimson, this reminds me of Nancy Drew. Colin Baxter, look at that shade of crimson. Crimson. You think Barbie is in the back of the line? Being all like, being all Karen, like, do they know who I am? Do they fucking know me? Do they know me from Cruisin' Blast? <laughs> Go cool. Get out of the way, I'm Barbie. It's like that one meme where it's like, get out of the way, I'm gay. <laughs> get out of the way, I'm Barbie. <laughs> Bub's Raid! Oh my god! Fuck yeah! Hell yeah! Welcome everybody from the Bub's Raid. Welcome. I am Italian Gamer Joe. For those of you that know me, welcome back to Italian Gamer Joe. And if you're new here, welcome and ciao. Welcome to the Italian Gamer Joe channel. Hope you're. <laughs> Let me get some of that spaghetti. Right. Oh my God. Double wubs. Thank you for the five months. Happy five month oh, anniversary. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Mwah, to both of you. Thank you. And a hype train just started. Shit. Choo choo. Oh my God. Y'all started a hype train. Oh my gosh. What is going on right now? Um, Bookfobot is gifting a tier one sub to the community. Oh my gosh. Um, thank you so much for that gifted sub. Oh my god, triple sundog for the five gifted subs. No, stop it! <laughs> um, Bookfobot gifted a tier one sub to Expeli. Triple sundog gifted subs to Sakura. Oh nice, Aurelia, Drew, Drew Golas, maybe Macy, and, uh, Ninju Stucks. Um, Auto Wheelbot Jack redeemed Italian hands. Here's your Italian hands, and for starting this hype train. Thank you for the bits, Cody. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Mwah. Hope you're all having a good time today. Hope you're all having a great evening. Thank you for the bub raid. I really appreciate that. Thank you all so much. Um, and Meet Rat, thank you for giving the shout out to Double Bubs. If you haven't done so already, please give Double Bubs a follow and subscribe. They are an am Cat and Durr are awesome people. They are so much fun to hang out with, and they're fucking Nancy Drew fans. Why not give them a follow right now? Drop that follow button on Double Bubs. Candy Girl redeemed Little Flex. Here is your little. F well, you know what? Let me let me make make myself bigger for this, and move the chat since you know I don't have a separate camera. Here's your here's your flex. <laughs> I was lifting weights today. Wait, no, other way. It's flipped. <laughs> Enjoy. <sighs> You know, when you're a theme park owner, you gotta, you gotta, you have to be lifting weights. You gotta be, you know, when you're building these facilities by hand, you gotta be, you know, gotta be ready for this. <laughs> yeah, enjoy. Thank you for the redemption, Double Bub, so strong, Joseph. You're gonna need to rename that big flex, that to big flex, right? Triple. Thank you, and thank you for the bits, Mitra. Thank you, seriously, that's so kind of you. Mwah, thank you. <laughs> Facts. It'll be a big flex one day, one day. So for those of you that are coming in, we're playing a game called Planet Coaster, and Planet Coaster is a game available on Xbox. It's also available on PlayStation, PC, Steam. Um, what we just did right now, um, our theme park is like Magic Castle, like sh like think like Shrek Fairy Tale Land themed. We just built this like watermelon colored like ride that's super slow. You can even look at the look, 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 you can even look at like the reactions on the people's faces. They're just like, uh, uh. but like, then you turn here and you look at the line and you look at these faces of the crowd and they're just like, oh my God, yes. Oh my God, look at this mother. She's like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I've been waiting in here for three hours. 
Yes! Look, honey, look! Look, honey! Oh my god, the kids are gonna love it! This looks like so much fun! The dad's just like, oh, I gotta fucking pee. Oh, there's no drink shops in this fucking theme park. I need a fucking beer. How much longer is this gonna take? And meanwhile, the wife is just like, honey, oh my god, I'm so excited! And she's like freaking out, and she's like, look, honey, look! Look, I think our kids are gonna be next! Oh my god, I can't wait! This is the best date we've had in so many, in so long. And the husband's like, yeah, I'm just going to smile and, uh, wait, wait, what's going on? What's going on there? What's little Johnny doing over there? What's little, hey, stop that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like these kids that are just, I mean, I like people watching in this game. I like just looking at the characters. She's like, when is it? She's like, she's like, when, how much longer is this going to take? You know, you know, how much longer? <laughs> hey, Joe, we can't see them because your cam is still big. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, you know what though? You can see the, you can see the wife. You can see the wife. You can see the the Karen wife over here. Thank you, Triple Sun Dog. I appreciate that. But look at her. Look at her. She's like, what's going on over here? What's going on? The dad is just like, come on. Come on. Let's, let's, let's get this line moving. But no, seriously, I love people watching in this game. You can just see like the people here and how excited they are for this little ride. Like, look at this. If I zoom out for a second out of that guy's chest. Um, look at this, look at this, look how many people are lined up for this fucking, like, spinny teacup ride, look at this, look at this line, oh my god, I mean, this is insane, I'm getting, like, anxiety from this, like, we still live in a COVID period, and look at this crowd, they're so, like, they're, like, freaking out for this, they're like, ah, yes, like, they're just freaking out, they are so happy, I mean, it's insanity, they're just like, yes, yes, <laughs> what is she thinking okay. wish me luck oh man i never win anything omg this game looks great i'm definitely gonna get it it's a lot of fun and like i said i like people watching this is the story mode and uh i don't know i just like how cheesy it is <laughs> oh man it's so it's so cheesy um, scenery. Don't forget to immerse your guests in magnificent surroundings. You can place items from the scenery browser to improve guest happiness. Okay, okay. Let's do it. We're gonna place three different scenery blueprints so that people waiting in line are not gonna be like, what the hell's going on? What's taking so long? Pirate treasure, pirate camp. Wait, is that all we have? Just pirate? Is that it? Choo choo! Yeah, thank you everybody for participating in that uh, hype train. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you, everybody. Seriously, thank you. Enjoy those dog emotes and cat emotes and puppy emotes. Um, for those of you that did participate, enjoy those emotes, those those new emotes. Um, hype! Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna. Holy shit! That's that's fucking huge. Oh my god. Okay, no, we're not gonna do that one because that's fucking huge. Place three different scenery blueprints. Well, we only have three, and... Okay, well, if that's what they're going to make us do, then we're going to go... Average guest happiness is declining. Well, yeah, you know what? You know, probably because probably because they're waiting three hours to fucking, you know... To, uh... Delete selection. We're making some money here. We are clearing out some areas in the park uh, to build something new, I guess. Um, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. I want to see the looks on these guests' faces when we create something brand new. And they're just going to be like, oh, oh my god, Italian Gamer Joe just made something new. We have to go in now. Okay, so we're going to put, we're going to put this, like, we're going to put this, like, thing here, right here. And it's going to be really beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this, like, evil skull thing and the smoke machine. This is, like, Nancy Drew Creature at Kapu Cave vibes. Like, probably even better. I mean, look at this. Doesn't it make you just want to go inside? Doesn't it just make you want to go? I mean, like, if, Nancy, if this were real, like, Nancy Drew, if this were, like, a Nancy Drew game, like, holy shit. We're going to put the treasure inside this cave. What is the guest? Is that a guest? Oh, no, it's an actor. I was like, what is a guest doing? Can we please, like, escort this guest off the property, please? Because he's going to danger. I mean, we're not. We're already not making much money. We don't need a casualty in the park, please, okay? This isn't cruising Blast with Barbie in the mix. Okay, um, ooh, I like this. This is really cool. This gives me, like, Sea of Thieves vibes. Which, by the way, Sea of Thieves oh, Season 4 just came out. Uh, I don't believe I've said <laughs> Unscoot yet, did I? So, so basically, you have these characters, and, um, like, oh, so when they cross the bridge, they're gonna see it from this side. Oh. Go and select that first ride you open, would you? 
Okay, how's it going, Suno? Welcome. Can we get a shout out for Suno, please? Can my mods give a shout for King Suno? Um, look at this. Look at the Sea of Thieves pirate ship. It's so beautiful. I love it. Love it. Okay, so we're going to make our way to the first rod we opened, which was... Where was the first rod we opened? Yeah, please give King, King Suno a follow. He does a lot of cool stuff that I've streamed. I've seen him stream so far, including like driving streams, adventure game streams. <clears throat> Excuse me. Suno, did you finish Life is Strange yet? So this is the first ride, and she wanted us to select it. You see how it's got a high Q scenery rating? Because of that, the ride's prestige is higher too. Oh, interesting. The prestige. So no wonder guests are flocking to this ride because the prestige is like insane. I see right, now. now. I see. New ride you built. Now we have a new. We have to go to the new ride. Wait, we didn't build a new ride. Oh, this one. There's no. Oh, the prestige is probably really low. Okay. Yeah. So we need some so scenery for the elixir machine. Okay. Raise the Q scenery for the elixir machine. Okay. Ooh, look at this. We have a bunch of new objects available to us to us now. For the from. Oh, I'm liking this. A fairy tale overgrown tree. Maybe we could put it like okay, no, we can't. It's not. It's too big. It's too fucking big. Um, maybe we could put like some bushes. Yeah, let's put some bushes. Oh, I like that. Look at these tropical bushes while you're waiting in line. That is so pretty. Look at that. Look at that while you're waiting. The guests are probably like turning around, thinking to themselves, "We don't know how the fuck that just happened, but this is fucking awesome." Um, maybe we could put like um, some some cute little plants like right here, and we could do the same thing on the other side. So as they're walking, um, it'll look really cute as they're walking in. Um, so let's. Ooh, the fairy tale market stalls. That sounds so cool. Oh fuck yeah. Um, let's do an angle. Can we angle it somehow? Is it gonna let us? Put it up by a few dollars. I don't think it will. <laughs> the, 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 the CFO is like, put it up by a few dollars. It's not, it's expensive enough. So we have to raise the money from the, for the machine from 8 to $13. Okay. Wait, yeah, $13. So we're going to charge more money to use it because of how much it costed us to build the scenery. Oh my. Okay. Look at, all that Look at this, though. Look at this. Yeah, the market cart. I mean, look at this ride, though. I mean, how the hell does it work? People get strapped on. It's so pretty. Look at the look at the guest. Look at the attendant. What is the guest? What is the guest? What is the attendant thinking right now? He's like, please. He's like, I can't do this. This is just a college. This is a college job. I'm just here for the summer. He turns around, looks at the crowd. He's just like, holy fuck. He's like, I gotta do so much shit today. How popular the theme park is depends on the park rating. Okay. More guests, they'll stay longer. Cool. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, he wants to. He wants us to look at the overview. Two hundred ninety-two is twenty cents last month. Sweet. Sweet. Look at this. Like, look at this guy that works here. He's just like, dude. I just. I fucking. I just work here. <laughs> I want to see this ride in action. I want to see how it works. I want to see how this ride works. It's a spinny ride. And, oh my god, people are freaking out. They are like, oh my god, look at this. Look at these kids, they're like freaking out. Oh, it spins even more. <laughs> I like seeing the reactions on the guest faces as they're freaking out. They're like, oh my god, ah! <laughs> I haven't been on a theme park in for- holy shit! Holy shit, this park, this, this ride makes them go like upside down. Oh no. Find the individual oh my god. The By the way, this Eugene build Newton build looks like Ingrid from Haunted Carousel. Meet Rod told me it's Ingrid. I'm imagining him being like, Namaste. Maybe this is Ingrid's brother. You know what? This is Ingrid's brother from Haunting, the Haunted Carousel. Um, so yeah, I mean, look at this. Look at this line of people. Look at this. They are all so excited right now. <laughs> this one mother is just like, oh fuck. I've been waiting in this line for two hours, and this is what I have to do. This is what I, this this ride's gonna make me fucking puke my burger that I just ate. Oh fuck me! What was I thinking? Oh my god, honey, do we have to? And her husband's like right here. <laughs> honey, do we have to be on this ride right now? Do we have to do this? Do, do, can we just you know turn around, please? Because this is this is fucking scary. I'm gonna puke. 
I need a fucking cigarette. It's like, she just looks like the kind of person that, like, smokes and, like, plays Bejeweled on her phone. She's on level, like, 1,700. She's just like, you know what, please, honey, I don't think I can do this. Oh, my God. How much longer? Ugh, I don't want to do this, please. <laughs> the, the husband's just like, honey, it's okay. It's okay. We've been waiting for, like, three hours. The kids. Think about the kids. <laughs> think about the children, honey. <laughs> She's like, oh, man. How much longer is this going to be? <laughs> please. <laughs> Meanwhile, closer down the line. <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh, look at that guy's like beard. Who that that beard's a choice. That is a choice beard. Look at that. Like who shaves a beard who who like looks in the mirror in the morning, has a full beard, and just decides to themselves, you know what? I'm gonna just shave all of this and then everything else. What kind of beard style is that? Like what what kind of style is that? Can someone tell me what kind of beard that is? He's like, uh, but seriously, like, what kind of? Who ordered the chops? <laughs> seriously, like, what kind of beard is this? I need to know. Like, what? What is that? <laughs> I'd like to know mutton chops. I know, right? Like, look at that. Look at that. I mean, I wonder what his partner thinks about it. Okay, the line's moving. Oh, he's sexy. Look at this guy. Ooh, look at this guy with the sunglasses and the full beard. This is my type of man. Look at this. And his dad bod. Oh, my God. Oh, he's riding the ride. Aw, oh, damn it. Damn it. I can't, I can't, 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 we can't flirt with him anymore. I was going to flirt him up, but too late. Too late. Sexy guy over there, though. Like the full beard and the, and the sunglasses. Oh, man. All right, let's, let's do some more people watching. Oh, he's cute. The blonde dude. I think he looks exactly the same, just with no beard. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this, like, woman. She's like, oh my god. Oh my god. How long is this line? This is gonna take me three hours. Three fucking... She's, like, putting her hand over her mouth, like, <gasps> This is gonna take me forever. She's freaking out. She's, like, talking to her daughter. She's like, honey, are you sure you want to do this, honey? Are you sure you want to ride the ride? Are you absolutely sure? This is gonna take a few hours, honey. I don't know if they can do this, honey. I don't know if I can do this. Are you sure you just want, don't want to, you know, go back to daddy that's waiting by the food court? Oh, my God. What the fuck am I thinking? I don't even know if I'll be able to ride this ride. I get dizzy. <laughs> honey, mommy's going to sit this one out. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I think I'm having too much fun with this. But seriously, like, look at this. Look at this. I mean, look at the line. People are freaking out for this line. It's crazy. People are like, oh, my God. They're like, oh my god, yes, yes. Ooh, I like this. We should put like an arch like this or something. I think it would look really cute. Yeah, I like that. That looks really cute. Ooh, I want natural park bushes. Yeah, let's put them around. Like, let's put them around the place. Oh no, no, no! I want more park bushes. Yes, we're gonna put like park bushes around it and make it look nice and pretty. And especially because the, the flowers are red. They look really cute. I like that. Look at that. Look at that nice, like, landscaping design. I mean, look at... Doesn't that make the park... Doesn't that make the ride look more attractive? Like, what do you all think? I think that the park... The flowers like this make it look more attractive. And it blends in with the ride. It blends in with the ride a lot. Especially because they're, like, a... They're all the same color. I think it looks really pretty. I think it looks really, really cool. I like this. It's really cute. And then when you're like, you know, on the ride getting dizzy and you see the you see the flowers like this, you're probably going to think to yourself like the all the colors of the flowers are just going to blend in and you're just going to think to yourself, "Oh my god, what am I looking at? This is fucking crazy. Look at all these flowers." Um goodness. Hey, I wasn't done yet. <laughs> I wasn't done yet. Operating up a good few notches, my friend. And look at all the guests happily smiling away. Is that Shrek over there? Happy guests. <laughs> They like spending money. Oh, is everything about cold, hard cash with you, Cynthia? No, <laughs> I also like stocks and shares. Cynthia, I think Durr, Durr, I think Cynthia is very much, you should talk yes, to her. <laughs> have other which can their happiness. <laughs> oh so my god, okay, I want to finish this real quick. Yeah, I want to finish I doing this. Do. Guests need to tell you how your guests are feeling and what they need to be happy. Happiness is the most important guest need. Okay. Energy, hunger, thirst, toilet, and nausea. Okay. Okay. Quite. 
If you want to find cool. out what us guests need, one cool. way is by looking at the guest screen in park management. Go on, open it. In park management? Okay, let's see. Let's see. This is where you can see what the people want more rides. Are in the park, as well as the most hmm. common thoughts that the guests are having. Okay, you people know, are thirsty. I really should think of this thing as a okay, people are thirsty. Amazing. Well, I'm not ready, honey. I'm kind of okay with it. Girl, I'm not ready. I got a bunch of flowers, and I'm trying to make my park look park luscious and beautiful. And I'm doing this one group of bushes at a time. So that it looks perfect, beautiful. It looks like... We'll keep it open for the shops, because that way, like, it makes it look more cute that way. Build a food shop for us. We're not going to build a food truck. Oh, no, no, no. We're not going to build a food truck for you. Right now, we are in the process of making this ride look beautiful. So, my mother was driving my car yesterday and accidentally peed on herself in the driver's seat when she sneezed. Oh, my God. <laughs> was she laughing really hard or something? Like, was she laughing and then it just happened? <laughs> like, she was laughing really hard and sneezed and then, you know, peed. Um... Is she okay? <laughs> Is she alright? <laughs> I love how beautiful this looks. This looks so pretty. I'm loving like the designs and I'm loving like I'm loving like how pretty this looks. You know, if you're a fan of like Animal Crossing or if you're a fan of like um, yeah, Animal Crossing is a good example. If you're a fan of like Animal Crossing, this is definitely a really good game to play because I feel like you can let your creativity and your imagination run wild with a game like this. Especially because there's a lot of customization options going on here. I mean, you can definitely let your imagination uh, run wild. Uh, there's just so much you can place it put, put down. I like this. You see, I feel like it looks so much cuter um, now that there's like a bunch of flowers. And as you can see here, more guests are approaching the line. Because more people are curious to see like what's in store for them i mean look at this we have the flowers now and then you have this like arch with the little like king oh my god king suno has a crown on it just for you um she's good but it definitely left a lingering smell uh you know what buy a bunch of um buy a bunch of um what am i saying I'm trying to sell i'm trying to tell you buy a bunch of car like things like the uh, fragrance and try to fix it that way Okay, so sometimes in this game, they want us to, like, put a building in a certain spot, but I don't think they care right now. Okay, so this is the entrance of the park, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put this, like, food... We're, I want, like, a food court. I think it'd be cool if this game had, like, a food court. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the food court, like, right here. Chief Beef. I like it. I like it. We're going to put Chief Beef right here, and it'll be the game, game, it'll be the game's food court. Oh my god, look at this look at this food court. Look at this like chief beef food court. I like this. I wonder what kind of food they sell here. Oh my god, that employee is like super happy. Look at him. He is like he is ready. He's just like freaking out. This were if this were he's giving Nancy Drew a run for her money. Shop vendors don't work for free. We have to turn a profit. Turn a profit. Buy, build two drink shops. Okay, we're gonna have to build two drink shops. We can build um, soda or gup, gulpy slush. Gulpy. Abraca hamburger. Snacko attacko. I gotta play WarioWare. I, I don't know what I'm thinking. I gotta play it. What angle is this? Why isn't it letting me. Yeah, advance rotate. No. Okay, we're getting there. And then we're gonna... Okay, and then we're gonna do it like this so that it looks more like a food court. Perfect. I like this. Goal P. Goal P. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. That's really cute. This just looks, this looks so cute. Oh my god, I'm loving this. Look at this food court. Look at this. We have a little food court now. We have this little, like, like as you're walking by, you'll have, like, the goal pee, and then you'll have, like, the burger stand, and you're, like, imagine being a parent. You're just like, oh, honey, honey, go pee, go pee. I need to go pee. And then <laughs> I need the goal pee. And then the husband's like, honey, I don't see any bathrooms. And she's like, no, honey, I need to, I want to go get, go some goal pee. 
and he's like, he's like, honey, honey, I don't, but I don't see a bathroom. She's like, no, the fucking, the fucking drink stand, honey. Oh. And then you see like the burger stand, and she's like, you know what? Can I also get some chief beef? And then the husband looks at her, and he's like, honey, you want some chief beef in the car? That was so cheesy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at them sipping their gulpies. Their gulpies. They're like, oh my god, I love my gulpie. My gulpie. Um, look at the crowd. They're like freaking... Look at this long line. It's, it's a fucking three hour, four hour wait for the fucking line for the gulpie. Look at this. I love the enthusiasm of the employees. Like, I just... Like, I'm just imagining them being like, Hi, what can I do for you today? One gulpie? Okay. And then just runs away. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> And then she jumps back in. She's just like, and I'm back. It'll be $3, please. <laughs> like, I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> I don't get paid enough, but here's your gulpie. Like, so enthusiastic. Look at that. <laughs> and I like how the gulpie, like, like, brand is a dinosaur. Look at that. She's like, how can I help you today for your gulpie? What do you want? What do you want? Three, three lemonades? Okay, one second. And then she's just like freaking out. She's just getting it ready. And then she's and then she's getting ready. She's freaking out. She's just like it's like better than Nancy Drew. She's you know lemonades all over the floor, all over herself. And then in a minute she'll just jump back in and be like, "I'm just waiting for her." She's she's taking her time. She's taking her time. She's building customer demand. She's getting that line. And then she jumps back in. She's like, "And I'm back." <laughs> That'll be fifty dollars cash or credit. <laughs> I like how the mother is like putting her hands against the table and she's looking around and she's like, Oh my god, what flavor do I want? This looks so good. <gasps> oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> Can you zoom in on the crest above? The crest above. Oh, the the shield? The shield of the of the Is that a dinosaur sleeping? Is that what it is? Is that what you're looking at, Candy Girl? The the dinosaur sleeping? Oh my god, they sound like the Sims. She was like, Gani da zoom noom. Gani da zoom noom. It's, it is cute. Look at that. Look at the dragon sleeping. And um, he's like a happy face. It's really cute. This game in general is really cute. I mean, I love the level of detail. The level of detail in this game is really cool. It's so cute. Like, I should be building a park right now, but instead I'm watching guests get gulpy <laughs> she's like what do you want today two lemonades that'll be right up <laughs> oh man all right let's build the other one but we're gonna build the other one over here instead and uh instead of a gulpy we're gonna do a gulpy slush so oh man the advanced like angle system is annoying how do you There we go. No, but how did you... Oh, there we go. Okay. Nope. Yes. And then we're going to move it closer. Perfect. About time. My blood sugar was almost down to a healthy... I kind of like, like the way the Gopi looks. It's another Gopi's brand, but it's like a, it's like a different company version of it. It's really cute. It's really, really cute. Without meaning to be indelicate, all that food and drink means we have another pressing. Oh, I know the bathrooms. Yeah, like really pressing. Bathrooms. Quickly. Build the toilet Build the for the toilet guests. For the guests. All right, oh, where's the toilet? Oh, toilet? You're spoiling us, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> Where are the toilets? The toilets. Oh, here they are. Here's the toilets. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna use the rotation tool and uh rotate it like this okay th why is this rotation tool way more like way more clean i don't know i don't know and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it like actually what if i put the no it'll look better like this i was gonna put it behind gulp gulpy but i don't like that i'm gonna put it like this instead y mm, you know what though i would rather rotate it like tiny bit like just a tiny bit so you can see it that way if you're looking this way you can still see but like maybe just a little bit more back like this yeah i like this better because then you can see it 
kinda. Let's do that. Because then when you're walking, you'll see the gulpy, and then you'll see the sign if it wasn't for Lucy Summer's face. But I like that a lot better. Can you actually hear the bathroom signs if you zoom in enough? You can't. Every so often they need to recharge their batteries. So you should plug them in and no, that's not right. So the game wants us to create benches. Change category. And then it wants us to go to the bench category. Ooh, Palace Thrones. Village Heart Bench. And then Barrel Bench. I wanna put the I I wanna get some Palace Thrones, and then I wanna put them like right here or something. Or no, what if we Oh no, never mind, it's not gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna put them right here as a joke. And that way people are sitting down can like, can see it. And then what we'll do is we'll do like barrel benches, like kind of like by the bathrooms and stuff for the peasants. Oh, wait a minute. They need to be outside, not inside. I made, I made an oopsie there. Let's fix it. Um, surface move. Wow. Those benches got super. Oh no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It still works. Oh, okay, well, I'm going to have to move the bench, so please get up. Fuck, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> no, I can't move the bench. Oh, no, I can move it. Okay. All right, we'll move it behind it, and then I'll do the same thing for this one. We're going to move it, and then do it like this. Okay, perfect. See, now I like this, because now we have, like, people that are waiting. Like, imagine, like, being a guest here, and then your, like, your dad or something has to go to the bathroom, and it's just like, honey, wait for me, and then you just have a bench to sit on, you know? Like, you have a nice little, a nice little bench to sit on while you're waiting, while, you know, while this daughter is waiting for her dad, you know? Or, in this case, you have, like, dad and mo dad and her daughter, like, waiting for mom to use the bathroom, because, you know, it's been a long day, and she's had her eighth goal pee, and it's really sunny outside and hot. <laughs> and then we got another one I like this, I like this and then no one's using the thrones because everyone's afraid to use them but I think it'd be a, I think it's a really cool idea I like that it's a I like that it's a very like chill area I like it I like it we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna do one in front of the chief beef we're gonna do one in front of uh, the other goal pee, and then we'll do one more like right here so that it matches up perfect look at this look at this look at all the garbage people are fucking snobs look at this slobs not snobs slobs no it's quite a lot to think about isn't it plus we need more complex yeah and we need fucking janitors Look at this. I like this, though. Look at this. I love this. Like, I love... Like, imagine walking upstairs to this food court. Um, Janitors, mechanics, vendors. Once hired, I'm going to pay them up the salary. Okay. Cool. Speaking of problems, can you do something about all the litter? Yeah, we're going to have to hire a janitor or something. We really need one. Maybe you could hire some janitors to keep on top of it. Yeah, we, like, really need a janitor. Like, badly. Like, badly. Oh, there's one. Let's put him down here. And then we'll do it again. Sweet. Of course, glitter wouldn't be such a problem if Mr. Thompson... But, yeah, I love, like... I love the, like, you're walking up the stairs, you get up top, and then you see, like, the bathrooms. And then as you continue walking up, you see the goal pee. And then you have, like, the... Oh, okay, it's put some garbage down. I love, like, the little, like, main area here. It's so cute. And then as you continue walking, you have the chief beef, which is, like... It's like a food court. I love this, like, food court area. And you have people just sitting down, like, just chilling out. They're just relaxing. They're enjoying themselves. Um, we need to we need some waste baskets, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some waste baskets. Oh, I like the palace bin. That is really funny. Um, we'll do barrel waste baskets though to, st to stick with the theme, and I'll put two down. So that way, like, cause people are fucking like slobs and they just drop fucking shit on the floor. Like, what is this? You just drop shit. You just drop food on the floor in your house like this. And then what I'll do is I'll put a palace one like right here. Um, maybe like, maybe like right here. That way it looks like a, like a throne. Yeah, like that. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Oh no, the ride oh, broke down. No. Goodness oh me. shit. One of the rides is broken. You can see her look on her face right now. She's like, um, should I stay in here? Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Oh my god, what do I do? Refunds? Quick. 
Oh my god, she's freaking out. She's like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. Should I stay in here? Oh my god, they didn't teach me this. I am not, I'm too young for this. Holy shit, what do I do? What the fuck do I do? Okay, we'll hide the mechanic. Get your ass in here, mechanic. Oh, we can't. He has to actually, like... Where do you put him? Where the fuck do you put the mechanic? Okay, I think the mechanic has to be outside the park. Okay. I'm sure the okay. mechanic will have that ride fixed in no time at all. Where did we go? I'm getting like disoriented. Oh, okay. The space -time so the mechanic oh. is making uh, his way. Um, he's making his way to the entrance, which I think is he's going. He's taking the long way around. Okay. Sounds good. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll um fast forward time so the mechanic can like really make his way quickly this reminds me of the sims a lot see he's he's getting there he's repairing it oh my god the people are still in the ride holy shit the people in the game are still in the ride look at this look at this <laughs> she's probably like honey <laughs> look at this look at this oh my gosh imagine this mom this girl being like mommy when will the ride repair itself and the mother's just like honey We've been sitting here for three hours. Just, it's okay, it's okay. And she's like, Daddy, I want some gulpy. <laughs> Honey, you have to go pee? No, 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 I want gulpy. And he's like, oh, you want gulpy? <laughs> and she's probably like, no, no, I don't have to go pee. I want gulpy, the lemonade. <laughs> They're all just sitting here like awkward. They don't even know the guy right here. Well, oh my gosh, no. Has been dealt with. <laughs> they all, oh my God, like how they amalgamate the crowd into one big blob. And then they, you just see like the... The, the, the mechanic. You know what they need? They need the music where it's like boom, bum, 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 and it's like bum, 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 bum. And you see the, man, you see the mechanic just walking out like a hero. He's holding his like, his drill. He's just like flipping it with his hand. He's just like, and he's like waking to the camera. He is, he's had a great day today. He just saved a bunch of guests from certain death on a ride, on a fucking teacup ride. They simply won't be able to work. We need a staff, staff building. Okay, there's the staff building. Back. Pirate fortress. Oh my god, the staff building is a pirate fortress. What is this? Sea of Thieves? Oh my god, I'm loving this. I am loving this. But before I do it, wait. Can we get rid of this? Can we get rid of this? Radio menu, delete selection. Oh, yes! Yes, that makes me happy. Okay. I'm happy that we can delete them because now I can put like path here and I can, um, if I create path, I can, um, use the path that I create to, oh no, no, I don't want that kind of path. No. Where's the path that I've been using? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to create path that goes right here. And then I want to create another path that goes this way towards like the treasure area right here. And, but like that, that's it. And then what I want to do is I want to go to the facilities and I want to see, will it fit if I rotate it? Oh my gosh, the cannons even explode. How beautiful is that? That is so fucking cool. Oops. Oh, it's rotated again. That is so fucking cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this staff room. Oh my god. So impressive. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. And now the staff will have their own staff room, which is right by all the scenery. But it's so it's like it's like in theme with everything. Um, what are they asking us to do? They're asking us to make a park oh a vendor employ vendor what do vendors do i'm not exactly sure what vendors do Gosh, though you've got so many people working for you that there might not be enough space in the staff room anymore you'd better increase the staff room's capacity just in case how do you do that have a staff building with a capacity at least five mm. um I'm not sure how to do that. Is it in the is it in the create menu? Facilities. I 
have a staff building with a capacity of five. Oh, okay, I found it. Capacity five. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Look at you! Oh, perks. you're a bomb manager. Congratulations. <laughs> Pretty soon you'll be hiring entertainers to look cool, actually. You can do perks. Guests and hiring security guards to deal with pickpockets and ne'er do wells. And that's really cool. Well, partly to stop Lucy. So yeah, I'm liking this so far. I'm liking that we have like a whole pirate area now. In your own time, though. Yay, we got the we got another star. Goodness. Just look at how you've grown the park. It's like they say about tiny acorns. <laughs> Don't eat them. No, Don't eat them. <laughs> anyway, just time Don't eat the tiny acorns. Management lessons before I let you loose on the world. <laughs> you can use park management screens to monitor your park operations. Now, okay, what's next? These first few what's next? Few lessons will mostly be focusing on finance. Which is why I'll be handling them. Cynthia you Clark. You get started by looking at the overall finances of the park in the finance section of park management. Come on, money's a-wasting. The finances. Inspect the finances, pal. Oops. Oh, we're losing money. Uh, this is my happy place. <laughs> this Just is my happy place. look at all those fiscals. You can get a very solid idea of how your park's finances are doing here. And looking at it... Oh my god, I placed too many flowers. Your are doing well. But I think your shops could be doing better. Open up the Attractions and Shops panel. The Attractions and Shops panel? As you can see, this section gives you an overview of how your shops and facilities are doing. I should rename my, ah, my buildings. And as I thought... You could definitely stand to raise your food and drinks prices by a half dollar or so. Happy guests don't mind paying a little extra. <laughs> you can also raise the prices of ATMs, toilets, even the first aid facilities. But it's a good idea not to get too greedy for those. <laughs> Just Katie Girl, your redemption of hydrate is brought to you by Ice Mountain Water. Thank you for hydrating your favorite Italian game. Um, raise prices of three shops by at least 50 cents. <clears throat> okay. Um, Ganita Sunun. Chief Beef. And then we have Top Guest Toss. I'm thirsty after Chief. I need a bathroom after Chief. So we can we have the chief burger extra large and then the regular chief burger. We'll raise it by fifty cents. And then we'll for the for the goal P we'll uh do the same thing. Oh, there's so many. Goal P oh my god, there's a goal P guava. If Guava was in the chat tonight, he would probably have, he'd probably like freak out. He'd be like, oh my god, there's a name, there's a drink name named after me. Next time Guava comes in the chat, I'll have to tell him, Guava, there is a drink named after you called the Gol P Guava. <laughs> the Gol P Guava. Yes. Oh my god, Guava, you're here! You're here! <laughs> <laughs> guava, there's a drink named after you. How do you feel, Guava? How do you feel that there's a drink named after you? <laughs> do you feel honored? <laughs> Go P Zero Cal. Go P Water. Go P Guava. <laughs> guava, you should take a picture of this and be like, my name is in a game. My name is a drink. <laughs> you could like you should take, a, take a picture like like the right of like this and be like, my name is in Planet Coaster and it's called Golpe Guava. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing, amazing. Okay, research a park. We're gonna have to do a research project, huh? Ooh. 
A coaster, the American Arrow. Now that the research is in hand, we should take a look at the staff again because their happiness is just as important as the guest's happiness. Okay. Go on, take a look at your staff list. Where's my staff list? The staff list, 86%, all staff. Good. See, Everyone seems happy. Is unhappy, then they won't be as effective at their job. Well, this one has low energy. Unhappy, they might even quit entirely. What and is he, oh, he's the I he's mechanic. I time we gave some of our staff a raise, don't you? No. <laughs> that wasn't directed at you, Cynthia. Cynthia's like, fuck no. So, no. <laughs> staff members aren't as happy as they could be. And, if so, bump their wages up a notch or two. Well, this one is just tired. He's not unhappy. This shop owner, this shop person maybe could be a little happier. So, we'll raise her age to, we'll, we'll raise it to $5 and see if that makes her happier. I need more training to do this much work. Can't train until okay. Increase the salary of five staff members. Oh shit. Okay. So we're gonna have to give rate. We're gonna have to give raises all around, huh? Okay. Okay. So we did that one. We will raise the wages of the mechanic. This person. Tracy Lee. There, that's a start. Okay. Everyone got raises. If a staff member's <laughs> workload is too high, it means that they aren't able to keep on top of all their duties, which will make them unhappy. One way around that is hiring more staff. But a more efficient way to through do training. It is through staff training. So, train up some of your staff. Okay, so I think one person was complaining that they needed more training. So, let's go ahead and train this person. Um, this one, this person's complaining that they need training. Once you've chosen who to train, they'll soon toddle off to the staff building to receive the training and complimentary donuts. <laughs> complimentary donuts. <laughs> oh yes, you clearly know how to care for your staff. Now that you've addressed the wages, raise the roof of people's and young. I know, right? They'll be right. People being unable to work makes them unhappy. <laughs> King Zuno. <laughs> Imagine that. I can't go to work today. But a theme park isn't a theme park without one. Eugene, take it away. Take what away. Imagine that, King Suno. I understand. If you could reveal the newly researched coaster blueprint, please. The newly researched coaster blueprint. Let's do it. The American Arrow. That doesn't even so it doesn't even sound like a fantasy themed roller coaster. Well, that was needlessly over the top. <laughs> oh, but that is oh, quite an exciting oh. new coaster. That could easily hit 4.28 on the Eugene Thrill Rating Scale. And now that you have a new coaster God, type, that van the janitor's having to way too much fun with his broom. Look at that. Build a He's scratch. treating it like it's a light, like it's like, like, like it's a lightsaber. Before you run. Now, open the coaster, the coaster browser, browser and select the blueprint. Oh my god, where do we put it? And place it in a suitable location. It's huge! It's fucking huge! Where are we gonna put it? Okay, I guess that works. I mean, I guess that works. Oh, look <gasps> at that! <gasps> Your first coaster! He's living his best life. You haunted. So Eugene proud. Newton is on prep. <laughs> Well, I mean, if coming to donuts are involved, it's understandable. I know. While the construction of the coaster is finished, we are not. First, the coaster has to be tested. Place an entrance, place an exit, connect entrance to that. Okay. You know, if it's just about signing a safety waiver, then I'm actually cool with that. We'll place the entrance. Wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it now. So we'll put the entrance on the left side, and it's like this. And then connect path to entrance. Oh, my God. I need to zoom in. Okay. Okay, so for the entrance, we'll do it like this. And then we'll go closer and we'll do it like this. That's fine. And then for the exit. Um How do you edit coaster? No, not edit coaster. Um 
How do you add the exit path? Because we got to do the path for the exit. Testing, prestige, car type, ride operations, maintenance, ride management. Um, complimentary donuts are involved. It's understandable. I know, right? But how do you... Hmm. That's the exit. So how do you... Move exit. That didn't work as I planned. Yeah, place exit. Okay, what if I do this instead? Oh my god, these fucking trees. I'm gonna chop them. Um, okay, does it always have to start from the right? I mean, it's possible that's what they're what they need us to do. So I'm gonna try that and go to the paths section. Well now, looking at the telemetry data, the fear and nausea ratings are well within tolerable levels for guests, which means this ride is perfectly safe. Of course, that was There we go. There we go. fabricated blueprint ride. When you build coasters from scratch, things can go differently. I want some scenery when here. You've connected it up to the rest of the park, you can open the coaster. Well, I'm not ready yet because I want to make some scenery. Again, apologies. Ooh, I like this tree. Look at that. And because it's a roller coaster, it'll be more fun that this is a tree like this. Oh my god. That talk about making the roller coaster look so much more like spooky. I like that. A parrot statue, a fairy tale sword in the stone. Yes. Oh my god, it's fucking huge. Holy shit. The sword in the stone is ginormous. Oh my god. Okay, maybe if you put it like right in the middle. That looks cool. Oh, definitely. Ready for the season. Look at this. You get the, the haunted tree, the sword in the stone. This looks beautiful. These fucking trees. Oh my god. Okay, like, can we demolish these trees, please? We can. No, no. I, I. I... I'm sorry, but these trees are just too tall. Okay, we can fix them later. We can add, we can, we can add more scenery, more trees later. Um, the fairy tale traveler camp. Oh, I like this. That is really cool. And if we rotate it a little bit, and then we switch it back to like something like this. I like this. And it, it tells a story. It tells a story. So think about it. Think about it for a second. Okay. So we have the spooky tree. And then the adventurer rides the ride, and then they ex as they're exiting the ride, they are pulling the sword from the stone. And then when they exit the ride, they're at the camp. And the sword and the stone, the sword and the shield are, are at the camp. So it's like they, they, they did it. They rode the ride. They got the opportunity to experience the adventure, and they won. I don't know. I think it's really cute. Is something wrong with this building? No, I think it just... Is it is it broken? What is wrong with this? I don't think it's broken. I think it's just, I think it's just weird. Okay. Anyway, um, let's um open the ride since they want us to open it now. Much better. Sweet. What a fine coaster. What a fine coaster. You should adorn the track with plenty of wonderful scenery. Oh, we are. We are. Exciting and unique to Joe tells an embarrassing story. Oh, and of course, that is a good, that's a good question. What's you could embarrassing story extremely effective. do I have in store? Running costs. And of course, I think there's about this all those wonderful scenery blueprints that Eugene made blueprints. for you. Indeed, I really cannot blueprints. how long it took me to make those for you. I gotta think about that, King Suno. King Joe tells an embarrassing story. What am I gonna tell you, embarrassing story? I gotta think about that for a second. Hmm. What embarrassing story do I want? Oh my god. Holy sh. Imagine if this was on the roller. Holy shit, that's scary. Okay, um. What embarrassing story am I gonna tell this time? Um. A pirate kraken attack? Holy fuck. 
we're not going to do that. Um, okay, let me think about this. Do I have any, like, theme park stories? Okay, okay. <clears throat> King Suno, I got a theme park story for you. Um, so, I was in... I was in grade school, and I'm sure you've been to Six Flags before. Like, I'm sure you've been to Six Flags before. Or, at the very least, an amusement park that has roller coasters. So... The Six Flags in Illinois has a ride called Superman. And on Superman, the way it works is that you'll have the seat, which is like, it's like, it's like, how can I do it? It's, it's, it's like this, like think of it like a chair. And then the chair goes this, like this. And you're basically like, you're like this and your stomach is downwards. Your head is downwards. And the idea is that you're supposed to go like this, like Superman, and fly. Well, when I was on the ride, I was with my cousin. And my cousin at the time, you know, my cousin is significantly, is a little bit older than me. And we were on the ride. And they have, like, they, they have like seat belts and they have, like, arm, like, they have, like, like, shoulder restraints. So we get in the ride and we're getting ready. And I'm a little kid. I'm, like, a fucking kid. So... We're getting so we, we get ready. We're in the girls. The girls that are helping us like checked us out. We're good. The ride starts moving, and as we're like moving, there's no like protection under you. So your your feet are dangling, your hands are dangling, your legs are dangling. You're dangling, and as we're getting up to the top of the ride, like to get down to the first drop, my cousin looks at me and he goes wide eyed and he's like, oh, "Joe, Joey, your restraints they're loose." Oh. Free, like, 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 telling me that my restraints are loose and that my seatbelt came off, and I'm like, freaking out. I'm a kid. I start crying. I'm screaming, and I'm screaming, and I'm crying, and I'm like, no, stop. And I, I mean, I believed him. I believed him, and I was crying and I was screaming. And then as we got to the top, I, um, the roller coaster went, whoosh, and then like we went through the ride, and I was fine. At the end of the ride, my I gave my cousin hell. I mean, I was, I was crying. I was like freaking out. He felt really bad after that because he just he, th he thought I would have believed that he was that he was he was joking. But no, I was like crying. I was freaking out. I was upset. Um, I believed that my restraint was was not working, and um, he knew that I was afraid of roller coasters that go upside down. Like most kids, most kids I think that age are afraid of like upside down of being like you know on looping roller coasters and like he knew that and f that was one of the first roller coasters i've ever been on as a kid that was a looping one so he fully knew that and he like scared the sh fucking shit out of me and to this day whenever i go on superman i like i have that like memory in the back of my head where i'm just like oh my god you're okay you're not you're fine your cousin's not here to tell you that you know that you're seatbelt is not working and that your restraint looks like it's about to fall off I'm scarred to be completely honest I okay okay you know what I said that I rode Superman after that I'll tell you the truth I haven't ridden Superman to this day because I'm I, I, I'm scared to ride it to this day even as an adult I'm just like my cousin traumatized me from that ride <laughs> So I do not ride that ride to this day because it brings back the trauma of feeling like I was going to die on that ride. <laughs> so um, that is my embarrassing story, King Sudo. I, uh, I'm, I'm traumatized from a roller coaster ride that nothing ever happened to me, but I was to this day, I will not ride that ride because it scares the shit out of me. My first looping roller coaster was the Aerosmith one. I was crying the whole lineup, and it, and it was fine. Is Aerosmith the one in Disney World? Is that the is that the one? Do you all remember your first roller coasters? If you did go on a roller coaster, do any of you remember your very first roller coasters? Um, let me change the colors. Of ride like something like fairy tale gemini mine was dueling dragons where are, the, are these like actual like are these like six flags or are these um like where what where are they from
Yeah, I like the pink. It looks really cool. And then we'll do like a purple, maybe. Oh, no. If we're gonna go with the purple and green theme, then I'll just do that. Okay, that looks better since it matches the rest of the park. Cedar Point, Sandusky, Ohio. Oh man, Hollywood Studios, holy shit. Yeah, Hollywood Studios, oh my god, that's awesome. Can we actually ride the rides in this game? Like, is there a simulation where you can actually, you can put music on? You can actually do, you can actually do music? I want music. Can you go ride the rides in this game? So, how scared were you all? Not a coaster, but I ran a train in college. Wow, Tappy Switch, that's crazy. Um, were all of you, like, so scared on your first roller coaster ride, or was it pretty, like, fun? Like, did you have a good time with it? How do you... Man, I hope you can ride them. Yeah, can you? No, can you... Oops, can you ride them? I feel like there's a way to do it. There has to be, right? Maybe. I'm going to look this up. Camera? I mean, I am... We put a roller coaster... Wait, my roller coaster is closed? No, open it. Um... Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna Google it real quick and see Guava. Planet. I put Palnet. Planet coaster. Ride the rides. Can you ride the rides? Okay, so apparently you can. And the way to do it is you can mm, I'm waiting I'm looking, reading through this article um let's see Um, you were 13 or 14 when you were on your first roller coaster. That's another thing, too. Like, when you're really young, you know, like, you're not tall enough sometimes. Actions, request inspection. Um, I feel like there has to be some kind of like button. Esco Blazin subscribed with Prime. Th oh my gosh, Esco Blazin, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Happy six month anniversary, Esco. I should take you out to dinner. You like steak, Esco? Um, hope you're doing well. Please, uh, give us some kind of mod. If the mod is in here, please consider giving. Can please, he was, uh, give Esco Blazin a shout out for me. Um, okay, click the ride, choose the camera. Oh, okay, thanks, Candy Girl. I appreciate it. Um, so please consider giving Esco Blazin a follow. He plays lots of fun games. Um, I have every expansion pass to this game and have not played it. Yeah, I did the same thing. If you have Xbox Game Pass, uh, you can you get a discount on the full game, and that's what I did. Okay, so the reason why we can't ride the ride yet is because the game won't let us. You can't ride the ride yet because the game is preventing us from riding the ride. So we have to wait. Um, but this game is really fun so far. Oh my god. Look at this fairy tale castle. This fairy tale castle is fucking huge. Oh my god. Where can we put it? Can we put it here? Can we put it here? Oh, I wanted to put it. Can we terraform? We can, but we can't. <laughs> okay, well, what can we do instead? Can we put, like, stuff? Let's see. Esco Blazin, how's your night going? You're still in the tutorial. Yeah, that's why. St 
still in the freaking tutorial. Okay, and then we got one more opportunity. Let's um Let's put like this here. Will you look at that? Okay. Okay, so you we did it. Done this before. We did it. We should immortalize your coaster by saving Immortalize your blueprint. coaster. Blueprints. A blueprint is saved. Um collection objects. Oh that's cool. Okay, okay. So you need okay, to donkey. Like <laughs> I like that. In your donkey. <laughs> what did he say? Multi-select coaster and scenery. How do you do that? How do you do that? I don't know how to do that. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. So I'm adding everything I've done so far. But anyways, I got a Diamond Elite membership for Six Flags. Oh shit, King Suno. That sounds fucking awesome. Now, go and create a blueprint and you'll be able to make as many copies of That sounds great. As you like. Do you go do you go often? Can't afford. Oh, don't forget oh. to give your blueprint a good name. Good name. An exciting screenshot. Uh, and make sure to add confirm. any tags you want to it so you can find it easily later. Okay, we'll call this We'll call this Donkey. Donkey. Um, let's see. Pfizer One follow. Thank you for the follow, Pfizer One. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Italian Gamer Joe community. Um, save blueprint. Oh, something else is required. Okay. Donkey. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking that right now. Save blueprint. Now you've made a blueprint. There's a six flags like 20 miles from where I live. Oh, that's really close too. That's like super close. There's also somewhere even more exciting. Even more exciting. No, I want to ride the ride. Blueprints are a lot like sandwiches. You can share them with other people, and they contain pickles. <laughs> what? No, that's not it. The dialogue in this game is something else. Seriously. Blueprints with the world. With the world sharing with the what world. Built oh, it reminds me like the Sims 4 gallery. That's what the workshop can do for you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was a lot of work, wasn't it? Look at this line. I Holy shit. Enjoy the fruit of your labors. She's like, ah, look at this. She's like, oh my god, honey, Go on, honey. So oh my god, I like this shirt. I like this skull it's shirt. Gone. That looks really cool. That's a really cool shirt. Um, hey, handsome Bill, I'm head to bed. Happy later. Seizurable Sun Dog. Um, hope you enjoyed watching tonight's stream. This def this game, Death Triple, this game gives me Animal Crossing vibes. You should definitely look into this, Triple, and consider getting this game on Steam or something. I feel like I would have a, lot, a fun time watching you, like, create your own little rides and stuff. Um, right? I'm liking it. I know, it's so fun. Um, it's always the right time to think, th I know, right? Right, Guava? Thinking about Shrek. Um, all we need now is the song where it's like, Hey now, you're an all-star, get the game you want, go play. <laughs> we just need that from the first movie. Um, but yeah, this this game is so cute. So cute. Skull Shirt Dude, Skull Shirt Dude was, right? Wasn't he so eager? Look at the, look at the crowd in this game. Like, seriously, this crowd. Hey, we got the kid from Up. This is the kid from Up, but he's, gro he's all grown up. <laughs> he's like, yes. Oh, 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 we can ride the ride. <gasps> we can ride the ride. Oh, my God. Are you all ready to ride the ride? Holy shit. Ah! Oh, my God. <laughs> We're like, ah. <laughs> Everybody scream. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. This is crazy. Oh, my God. Corkscrew. This is bringing back memories of my childhood. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my god, look at all these corkscrews. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> oh my god, that was so much fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's all ride together. Are you all ready to ride together? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is bringing me back to my days. To my days at Six Flags. Oh, Triple Sun Dog. Okay, bye. <laughs> Triple's like, I'm getting sick. I need to get off the ride. I need Triple's like, I'm done. I need I'm getting I need to get off the ride. I'm getting sick. <laughs> 
Triple Sun Dog is like, I ate, I ate tacos for dinner. I can't do this right now. I, I, I don't need this. <laughs> Triple's like, I need my Animal Crossing Island. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. We're, we're, everybody, we're getting, we're going up. We're going up. Look at this. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my god. When you guys ride roller coasters, do you grip the grips or do you put your hands up and you're like, Woo! <laughs> What do you guys do? What do you guys do when you ride rides like this? I, I, oh my god, look at this, look at this. <gasps> oh my god, oh! <laughs> oh my god, looping, we're looping, oh my god! <laughs> you see, like, I don't put my hands up, I get really scared when I do this, I'm like, oh my god, oh! <laughs> I love the music too. Oh, we're upside down. Oh my god, this feels like I want to go to Six Flags again. Oh my god, corkscrews. We're squ we're screwing. We're corkscrewing. We're corkscrewing. Damn it! Look at this. I like how. Don't ruin the fun. We're 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 going on corkscrews. Damn it. <laughs> oh my god, that was fun. That was fun. Goofy, thank you so much for the subscription. That was so kind of you. Thank you for thank you again for um for the four months. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Mwah. Enjoy the emotes and everything, and hope that you've been well. Seriously, thank you so much. Um. What wonderful news! Because I wrap my arms around the restraint. Same here. I'll be right back. And if you would let me, I would dearly love to teach you the intricacies of building a coaster from the ground up. Or, or ground down if it's subterranean. And I'm gonna tag along because my favorite <sighs> task gives me free entry anyway. Oh, and to watch you. Uh, well, we redeemed Flip the Octopus. Obviously. So, Mr. Little Octopus over Probably here. You haven't grown already. He's, he's mad. Just look at this park. He is mad. At your park. Full of happy guests, making happy guests mad octopus. Memories. You should be proud of yourself. But this is just the start. Are you ready for the next step? <laughs> look at our oh my gosh, our car our, look at this. I love the zooming out. This is so beautiful. Yay, we got all three stars! Yeah! Oh my god, we did it. We did it. We built our dream roller coaster theme park and we got all three stars in the career mission. Yay! Let's continue career. Um, yes, that's fine. But yeah, the octopus, he is not happy. Look at him. Look at him. He's coming in. He's coming in. He's like, I did not like that roller coaster. I got sick. And he just leaves. Just leaves. <laughs> you reached like you reached the rank of Park Apprentice. Yas. Okay, so that's the autosave, and then this is what we just did. We did the Oswald's Park tutorial. Um, so grumpy but so cute. I know. Look at this. Look at how cute he looks. How can you be mad at this thing? How can you be mad at little octopus man? Um, so the next mission we're gonna do next time um, is gonna be Captain Lockjaw's buried treasures. Um, about ten years ago. Grumpy puss. I know, right? About 10 years ago, <laughs> I got a buddy of mine to go on his first coaster, which was Space Mountain down at Disney World. Me and his girlfriend also tried to get him to go on Expedition Everest, but he refused, so it was just me and her on it. <gasps> oh my gosh. How'd it go, King Suno? How did it go? I've always wanted to go on Expedition Everest. That ride is so cool because it takes you one way, and then when you get to the top, it goes backwards. I've always wanted to go on that ride. Is it fun? Is it worth it? That ride looks so much fun. So right now we just finished the tutorial, which is the very first, um, went quite well. Oh, how did you feel, King Suno, when it went backwards and you got to see the Yeti? Like, how did it feel when you started going backwards? Um, yes, definitely. Um, King Lock Captain Lockjaw's Buried Treasures is next. Digging through these riches won't be plain sailing. Are you ready? And then Princess Amelie's Fairy Tale, Dex R's Science Shenanigans, Gulpy's Island Paradise, Chief Beef's Meaty Challenge, Festive King Coaster's Crackers, Miss Ellie's Roundup, King Coaster's Royal Decree. So there's a lot of really cool missions you can play in this game. It's really cute seeing how much content there is. Holy shit, there's more. Um, 
In this game, also like Esco Blazin was saying, there's other stuff you can get in this game. So there's... When it's going backwards, it's definitely interesting. Yeah! It's like two different rides, because you have the forward version, and then you have the backwards version. So, in terms of content, this game has the Adventure Pack, the Spooky Pack, the Studios Pack, the Vintage Pack, the World's Fair Pack, the Magnificent Rides Collection, the Classic Rides Collection, and then a Ghostbusters Collection. No, I have not been on Boomerang, but it sounds really cool. Did I- I thought I purchased these already. Install. You own this. Yeah, I was gonna say, I own- buy as gift with Game Pass. So I do own it. Okay, do I own all of them? Because when you- when you buy on Game Pass, you get discounts for it. So that's why I figured, like, okay, so I have all of these then. Um, I don't think I- do I have the Ghostbusters one? Oh, I have to buy that one. Okay. Ghostbusters! What's Boomerang, King Suno? But yeah, this is really cool. Um... Do they have the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in this game? Oh my god, Candy Girl, that would be so fucking cool. I, I, that would be awesome. I want to see the Frontier Workshop. What's this? Welcome to the Frontier Workshop. Share your in-game creations of parks, buildings, and coasters. Explore other creations and let your creativity go wild. Frontier Workshop username. Well... Well, when it starts, you get pulled up a very steep incline, and then it just lets go, and that's how you speed forward. You go around a couple loops, come back around, another incline where it stops, and you do the whole thing again. So is that what, um, is that what Expedition Everest is? Is it very similar? Most popular creations. Oh my god, look at these Star Wars creations. Tortuga Rum Rum. Log Flume. Wow. Millennium Falcon version 1.3. Oh my god, someone made the Millennium Falcon in this game? Holy shit. Sort, sort of, except there's no loops. Oh, there's no loops. That would make sense, though. You know what? That would make sense. Um, Ice Climbers. Oh my god, someone made the Star Wars ATSD Imperial Walker with special effects. X-Wing Fighter. Oh my god. The Space Race. This is so cool. Mexilente Taco Twist. See if these. Oh my god. <gasps> Candy Girl, there's a Sea of Thieves one. Oh my gosh. There's a Sea of Thieves ride. <gasps> Candy Girl, arr, this is crazy. Oh my god. You know, in all the Disney of this creation, what does subscribe mean? Does subscribe mean we can, we can do it? Okay, we're downloading it. We're downloading it. It already installed. But how do we ride it? Can we ride it? I think we have to, like, actually play. I know, Candy Girl, I'm going to add it to the stream, so we're going to be able to play it again. Oh, look at that. Someone made a food court building. That is really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. A simple wood building with four food cells. Look at that. I really like this. This is really cool. I'm going to doubt. I'm going to subscribe to this one. That is really cool. I'm rating, a I'm rating that. That's really fucking cool. Tropical Waterfall, Synchronized Battle Coaster. Oh my god, look at the creativity in this game. This is crazy. Look at this. People are so creative. Fantasy Toilets, oh I like that. I like how they made the building a fantasy toilet. Shipwreck Cove, and it's an actual like roller coaster. <gasps> that looks so cool. Look at this. <gasps> I want to ride this. Oh my god, I'm so going to fucking ride this. I could literally just do Twitch streams of me riding player created rides. Literally, it's all I could do this whole game. Sea of Thieves. Oh my god, there's another Sea of Thieves ride. Which DLC do they want? The Classic Rides Collection? I thought I have this ride. I thought I have this. Install you. Yeah, I was gonna say. Huh. Wow, that is so cool though. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so fucking cool. I'm gonna favorite it. This is crazy. A lot of Sea of Thieves themes. Um, 
Monsters Inc. Oh my god, someone made a Mike and Sully Monsters Inc. ride. Monsters Inc. roller coaster complete with fully themed Station University Sully, Boo, and Mike characters. Litter the ride with scream canisters on the scare floor with hundreds of doors. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna download this. Monsters Inc. is one of my favorite Disney movies. And you can see the doors in the bottom, in the top right corner where they made little doors. Oh, the creativity here is so amazing. But there's only two coaches six flags that I'm too big for, apparently, and that's Wonder Woman and Poltergeist. Ah, okay. That sucks. I'm sorry. Basic wood. I want to browse the coasters. The coasters. Um, actually, wait. Is there more we can look at? There's track rides. Oh, look at the track rides. Mystery log ride. Yeah, Monsters Inc. is one of my favorite Pixar movies of all time. I grew up with with that with it. Um, Auto Zone. What does it even mean? <laughs> is there gonna be a car accident? Turn off all collision to make this ride work. What does that even mean? I need to blow my nose. My two favorite Pixar movies of all time are Monsters Inc. and Ratatouille. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I thought I needed my mic, my bad. Buff Boy, ooh, my fave game, Buff Boy, how's it going? Can we get a shout out for Buff Boy, please? Um, please get a shout out for Buff Boy. Um, thank you, thank you very much. In Italian, it's salute, salute. Just, you know, both of these are, my, are great movies. Um, Buff Boy games, if you haven't done so. If you haven't given him a follow, if you haven't given him a follow, please give him a follow. He's a badass streamer, and he's awesome. So please consider giving Buff Boy a follow. Um, Buff Boy, how's it going? Were you um, were you online tonight? Um, I see one other person play this, and they only get to try it and cause as much chaos as possible. That's hilarious. So Buff Boy, we uh, we, we were streaming uh, the career mode, and it's my first time playing this game. And I got three of the six stars for the practice tutorial. I guess there's more stars you can get that I didn't know about. And then next time we play, we're going to do Captain's Lockjaw's Buried Treasures. So we're going to do that next. I'm really excited to do that. Um, this game is a lot of fun. And I love, like, you know, I was going to, but I take the night off and relax and reset. Hey, I mean, Buff Boy, I totally get it. I totally, totally get it. Um, sometimes, I mean, when I was streaming Life is Strange True Colors, I streamed it for six hours straight. And then I ended stream and I'm like, oh my god. I was streaming for six hours. What the fuck? <laughs> it it knocked the, it knocked me out. I'm I'm sorry. I love you guys, but I can't do six hours of streaming. <laughs> I can't. Um, I see you. Uh, I see. I only do the sandbox. That's a good idea, though. That's a good idea, buff boy. I I like the career mode because I have no idea what I'm doing. So I figure if I do the career mode, maybe it'll help me understand like how to play the game better. Um, but it's, I like, I like your, I like your approach. I like your approach. You're more of like a gung ho. Like I'm just going to jump in. I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to figure it out on my own. I like that. I like that. I like your gung ho approach with it. Like for me, I'm just like, nope, I need, I need the, I got to read everything. <laughs> Let me read everything, please. <laughs> um, but that's what I like about this game. Like there's no right or wrong way to play it. Like there's, you can just jump in. Like I was just telling him, I was just telling my viewers that I could literally go to the frontier workshop buff boy and i could literally like download um a bunch of different roller coasters go into a sandbox and literally just ride all the rides from the frontier workshop like i could literally just go into the i can literally download the fucking like millenn millennium falcon put this into a sandbox and fucking explore the star wars millennium falcon and have that be the stream just me downloading just random player made look like like shit and just like just experiencing it for myself i mean the amount of creativity here is absolutely insane it's it's so cool the pirates of the caribbean yeah i mean yeah puff boy like they have space race they have um sea of thieves pirates of the caribbean i mean it is so cool seeing the amount of creativity this game has shipwreck cove i mean it's crazy it's absolutely crazy monsters inc i love this like i said before monsters inc 
was one of my favorite Disney Pixar movies. And um, I love the creativity here with Mike and Sully. And then they have like the doors in the, in the back. It's so cute. So cute. Um, but yeah, this game is really cool and I'm really excited that I'm playing it. I don't normally play like strategy building games on stream. It's not something you'll see me doing that often, but Planet Coaster I made an exception for because I was telling myself if you, like earlier today, I'm like, you know, Life is Strange True Colors is a great game and I highly recommend it. It's probably one of my favorite games of all time, but we need something fun. We need something silly. We need something to do that's like cheesy and fun. And um, I ended up going with uh, Planet Coaster. And the buff boy, the funny thing is, um, when we were playing tonight, most of the time we weren't even like exploring. We were literally just plopping down rides and then looking. We were, we were just like people watching. In the game, we were just looking at people's faces as they're waiting in line and just like watching their faces and pretending like we know what they're thinking. Like that's literally all we were doing the whole stream. Just watching people, watching the watching the characters stand in line and make funny faces. Um, literally, that's all we were doing. <laughs> I encourage you to watch the vod and like just just like watch like the hilarity of of um of just looking at the guests in the park and zooming in like zoom in really close and look at the guests as they're waiting in line and just look how funny their reactions are it's so funny it's so hilarious um but yeah my first major stream was for a plague tale that was ten and a half hours king suno holy shit ten and a half hours oh my god how did you feel after that stream king suno i mean were you exhausted after that Gotta give you credit though. That's that's fucking awesome. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, there is a sandbox mode like Buffboy was talking about, and um, it's pretty cool. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, a lot of really cool like areas. Um, yeah, it's there's there's a lot you can do in this game. I'm really glad I streamed this game tonight because there's so much to it. It's insane, insanity. Um, and I'm really glad. Like I said before, I'm really glad that I got the opportunity to play it tonight. And to um, play with all of you guys. Oh, this game's a lot of harder control on console. Yeah, I'm playing on my Xbox. I am playing it on my Xbox, so it's definitely a little bit more complicated because you're definitely like, you know, um, you're definitely like messing around with different controls more, so it's definitely a little bit harder to control. Um, but I still enjoy it, and I still, it's still a really fun game. Um, I stream it on my Xbox because. Um, I can't stream this on my laptop. My laptop would probably sound like an airplane, and my laptop would probably take off through my wall, through the ceiling. My parents are gonna come in here and be like, what the fuck is going on in here? <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, no, this game is really cool, and I don't mind the I don't mind the controller, the controller controls at all. It's no big deal. Um, but this game is so much fun, and uh, I really like this game a lot. Like I said, I don't normally play strategy games like this, but I'm really glad that I did because this game is really, really cool. I, um, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I, I'm glad I got the opportunity to play it tonight because, uh, it's, it's fun. Your laptop would take off like its own roller coaster. Guava, you're not, you're right. It would, like, it would just go, whoosh, just fly across, just fly up and it would just blast out of the room. Good, go through my fucking ceiling. And that's, that's my laptop. Like, that's the laptop. That's the stream. Like, just, like, it just, just, it would just take off on its own. It would be its own, like, like that's it it's done <laughs> um but yeah no i uh i really like this game a lot it was a good game it put a smile on my face and i'm glad that um i got the opportunity to play it tonight and i want to thank all of you for being here tonight to play it with me this game is so cute and i can't wait to go and play the other career mode story pieces and finish all of them one day um it's really cute i think my approach for streaming this game is going to be a combination of career mode and um the blueprint mode where i just download blueprints and we can all look together at player made creations and like oogle over them and be like holy shit there's so many cool stuff that we can look at that's insane um so what i'm gonna do is i'm i'm gonna get ready to um i'm gonna get ready to um to end stream and we're gonna raid someone so let me see who's online right now um who is online right um, I'm gonna go ahead and give Moonbear a raid. He's a really cool uh, Chicago-based LGBT streamer. Um, he's a really nice guy, and um, he streams with his he streams with his friend Erica. I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, them the raid. 
um let's go ahead and let's go ahead and watch him um i hope you all have a great night and once again thank you all so much for being here i really really appreciate it um thank you for all taking the time to watch me play planet coaster and the hilarity of it if you missed any of it you can check out the vod on youtube uh or on twitch for 60 days please join the discord as well if you haven't done so already or consider doing it um i might even consider doing a giveaway for this game on steam uh or on xbox we'll see but um, once again, thank you all so much. I hope you all have a great evening, and let's go. Let's go surprise Moonbear with the raid. Get some emotes ready. Let's surprise him. Hope you all have a great evening, and see you all next time.